When it comes to shooting and editing videos, using Instagram is a great way and probably the best way to put out your work. Now, Instagram doesn't really have the best features when it comes to selecting your video covers or like your kind of thumbnails on your page. So I'm gonna show you guys my process and how I get the artist's face to be super upfront and I'm not just kind of skimming through frame by frame to find the best shot from the video. I'm gonna show you a super unique technique that I use to kind of, you know, put the artist's face in the foreground. And when someone's scrolling through my Instagram profile, they can see, oh, he's worked with this artist because you can clearly see their face. This video is a sleeper video and if you're looking to level up your Instagram engagement and get a lot more followers. Now before we hop any more into this video, I gotta let you guys know about my brand new plugin, Fast Effects. Fast Effects allows you to add instant transitions into Premiere Pro in just one click. I'm talking hits, shakes, wipes, and a ton more. Everything that will add so much more energy to your project. And the best part, these are all fully customizable and you can save them to use later. There are over hundreds of transitions inside of here that you can use on your music videos and other projects. And I highly recommend you guys go check it out now because you can grab two free additional editing packs down below when you grab Fast Effects. So you don't want to miss out on those two free editing packs. Check it out down below. Support me, support the channel. Let's hop right back into this. Especially when people click on your pages to your videos, I highly recommend you guys follow along step by step and do this to your Instagram posts because it is an absolute game changer. So in the Premiere Pro timeline here, here, obviously we have the music video we have the switch music video that i did for gunner here and essentially what you want to do uh, when you're doing this process is you want to skim through the video and find a clear frame of the artist's face so i'm going to go ahead and do that we have like a bunch of frames here but i think the clearest frame is going to be this frame of gunner here you can go through the video and maybe find like this one um or some other ones um I recommend finding like the clearest headshot of the artist where you can see their full face and you can recognize that, hey, it's that artist. It's gonna, it's ye, it's gunner. Um, so you basically want to find that frame. And I think that frame in this video is like this one right here. So now you have your frame in your editor of choice. You want to go ahead and take a screenshot of it. I'm going to go ahead and click this export frame button here. If you guys don't have this on your computer, go ahead and hit this plus button here and then look for the camera button right here and just drag and drop that into our little section here and you guys will have the export frame button. So you want to go ahead and click that and you want to make sure it's a JPEG right here. And then under path, you want to go ahead and save it somewhere on your computer where you know you can get access to. So I'm going to save it into my documents here. And then if you want to import it into the project and have it show up inside of you know your project here, you can have that selected and then just go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to export this frame here. So what you want to go ahead and do next is open up Photoshop and we're going to go ahead and open up that frame inside of Photoshop now. So we're going to go ahead into documents here and open up the frame. And that we have our frame opened up in Photoshop. We're going to play around and make this image pop as much as possible and try to show his face off in the best way we can because we're going to be using this as the Instagram cover. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into filter and then open up the camera raw filter. This is where you're going to play with everything to get it to really pop. I recommend turning up the exposure so you can really see the artist's face and then maybe turning up the shadows as well just so everything isn't like super black and distorted. And then we'll turn up the whites a little bit and then we will turn up the blacks as well. And you guys can see instantly, we get a lot more of a clear image of Gunner here. And then what you wanna go ahead and do next, which is the bread and butter of this effect here, is go ahead and hit filter. I'll make sure you click on your layer first. Go ahead and hit filter and go over to neural filters. And then under neural filters here, you wanna go ahead and download the photo restoration one. I already have it downloaded here, so I don't have to go ahead and do that. But if you guys haven't used it before, you do wanna go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then what you want to do is you want to turn photo enhancement all the way down and turn face enhancement all the way up and it's going to go ahead and process down here keep in mind as well this is done on the cloud so if you do not have an internet connection you can't do this or if you have a weak internet connection it's going to take quite a little bit of time the faster your internet the better it's going to look now this looks super super bad right now so we want to go ahead and turn this down and we're going to keep turning it down until we get a look that kind of makes it stand out and to picture this as well it's not going to be this big on instagram it's going to look something like this so make sure you kind of zoom out like that and then go ahead and pick the artist's face so i'm going to go with this look right here and then hit okay so if we kind of zoom in you can kind of tell that it's over exaggerated but when you zoom out like this you can you can't really tell so if i bring in the before versus the after here you can see we get a lot more higher resolution image of the artist's face and you can actually tell it's him now we're going to go in back into camera raw filter for a little bit of extra cleanup here i'm going to go ahead and turn down the exposure a little bit maybe add some vibrance here just to get it to pop a little bit more and then bring the temperature down so it's a little bit more blue and boom i like that look here we have the before and then the after, you can clearly see his face a lot more. And this is perfect for the Instagram reel or for the covers on your Instagram page. Now, once you have this, you wanna go ahead and hit Command Option S in Photoshop. You can also export up here, but this is the way I like to do it. 
I'm going to call this final right here. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a JPEG and then hit OK. So then we're going to go back into Premiere Pro now. And let's say we were going to upload this entire thing into or let's just cut it. So let's say this is the clip that we were going to upload to Instagram, right? The way you want to go ahead and do this now is you want to bring in that one you just edited and you want to go to the very end of your clip, just like so. And you want to make it one singular frame. So to do this, pretty much what you want to do is go to the very end and we're going to use our arrow keys and go one to the right. Press C on our keyboard to bring up the cut tool. We're going to click the cut. Press V on our keyboard to go back to the regular tool. We're going to click on the excess here that we don't want and we're going to hit delete. And you guys can see at the very end of our clip, we get one singular frame of the thing and then boom, it's gone. So essentially what this does is when you're uploading it to Instagram and when you click on the cover and you're skimming through, you can drag it all the way to the end and it will show that static Photoshopped image as the cover. I actually learned this from Kids Take Over, which is an interview company. They did this for a lot of their reels and it is just actual sauce. So when someone's scrolling through uh, your Instagram, they can clearly see what artist that is, and maybe they can even recognize the music video or the project that you worked on for them. This is a super amazing tip. Now to go ahead and export this, I'm going to hit I on my keyboard at the end point. And we're going to go to the very end here and we're going to go just one over and hit O. And as you can see, you kind of have to go one over because it like lines up. If we go like at the end, we get like an extra uh, thing over. So we'll go ahead and do at the end there and then just at the beginning again. And you just want to go ahead and export, press command M. Under video here, make sure you click match source. We're not losing any of that quality. And you guys can see at the very end, we have this photo of Gunner right here, just like so. Then like I said, once you upload that to Instagram, scroll to the very end on the cover when you're selecting it and you will have this AI version that you can go ahead and use. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.